Hi everyone, I just wanted to take a few minutes to go over the instructions for the form report with you. If you come to the syllabus, you'll see that the separating components of a mixture, this is going to be our, the lab we use for the formal report. I just wanted to go over some of the instructions with you, such as how to get the actual data to do the report um, and where to turn it in. So first thing, come to the syllabus and make sure you check your due date. And then you can come over to the lab materials section and you'll see a few things. So first thing you'll see um, is the actual instructions about how to write the report and I'll go over those briefly in just a moment. And then you'll also find a place to turn it in. So we actually won't turn this one in on Labflow. You'll come to Blackboard and turn it in here. But you will need the data from Labflow and I'll show you how to actually get that data in just a moment. So first let's go over the instructions a little bit. So once you open that file, uh, the first thing you'll see is just some general instructions. So this tells you exactly how to format the report in terms of what the language should be like, even what the what font you should use, um, all of that kind of stuff will be in this first section. Okay, and then down below you'll find you'll find multiple sections um, that tell you exactly what to put in each section. So follow this very closely. So you should have a section or you should have a, a place that has a heading. You should have a section called objectives and et cetera, et cetera. And what you'll see in this is you'll find exactly what's supposed to be here. So for instance, in the heading, you should have your name, the course, professor, the date, and the title of the experiment. And you'll see that that's worth 5%. And if you just go through each one of these sections, it'll tell you exactly what to put there and how much it's worth. Okay, so just go through um, each of these sections and write the report based on the instructions you find in each section. Uh, I'm not gonna read these to you. Uh, you can go through this on your own time um, as you actually write the report, and that'll give you an idea uh, what you're supposed to be doing. So just pay attention to the percentages for each section. Um, that'll let you know, you know, what's weighted the most and exactly what you need to focus on. Okay, but this will tell you exactly what to put in each section. Okay, so how are you going to actually get the data for this report? Well, you're going to come to Labflow, and you'll scroll down until you see separating components of a mixture and scroll over to the right and you'll see this data and report submission separating components of a mixture and there's some due dates here. Say yes. And it says if you're completing this report online select provisional data option and you'll be given data to complete the lab. So you'll say request provisional data and it'll pop the screen up for you and then just say confirm. And from there what it's going to give you is the actual data. Okay, so this is how you'll do the report. So if we go back to the main lab flow screen, you will see um, the actual experiment PDF. So this will tell you the procedure and exactly what's being done in the experiment. Then we have a couple of videos over technique as always. Um, and then again, this data and report submission, this is where you'll actually get your data from. Um, and you can ignore this formal lab report submission. I want you to turn this in on Blackboard. So please don't submit anything here. The only thing you have to do here is the pre-lab quiz. I do need to do that, but otherwise, um, you'll turn the actual report in on Blackboard. So you'll do the quiz on Labflow, you'll get the data from Labflow, but then you'll write the report just in Word or whatever program you use, and then submit that to Blackboard. Okay, so that's pretty much all I have to say about this. Um, like I said, I wanted to keep this brief. If you do have any questions about this, please feel free to email me and I'm happy to answer anything you need to know.